What's going on guys? My name is Chris. People around here call me PBJ and this is a quick video showing you how to properly do spec maps in GIMP. Um, the challenge here is the templates you get from trading paints in those places are set up for Photoshop. They're not set up for GIMP and I'm going to walk you through how to quickly make that conversion because what you are looking for in a spec file is a combination of red, blue, and green. You're not looking for black or white. You're not looking for um, any, any of the things I've seen people put out on GIMP so far. And it took me a while to figure this out. So I'm going to throw a quick uh, shout out to the guy on Reddit that pointed me to this correct process. And his name is Bigfoot is Blurry. Um, he, he posted a, uh, a nice tutorial you know, helper thing here on, Disc or on uh, Reddit. So props to him. But when you grab your templates from Trading Paints, um, and then you try to use the combination of you know, this Gabriel Motors tool that's out there showing you all these different ways to do colors and things. What I see a lot of people do is they actually grab the color from this Gabriel Motors tool and say, oh, I want a metallic car, so I need this. So they grab that color, they go to their, their paint file, they go to their spec map, and they're like, okay, um, I'm going to make make it you know this color so they go in here they drop the color in say you know paint boom there's the color great and they export it they say export you know as they go to their go to their iRacing folder they drop this in as the spec file and then they get something like this and they're like oh cool i got metallic all right let's go um yeah, you did. You, you got what you wanted. The, the problem is you lost all of the intelligence that was in your template. And what I mean by that is in GIMP, it's not properly set up to do red, green, blue. Okay, It's set up to do black or white. It's, you got to adjust your template. So, for example, the parts here, right? Uh, you, you got those, you did good on that. Cause you probably saved the red channel. If I put the color in here like this, all the other stuff's still there. That's perfect. Okay, good. But if you hide your red layer, what about your green stuff? Look at all this information that's in your template, all these different roughnesses for things like the, the engine vents and the engine itself and the, you know, the, the exhaust and all that stuff. When you paste just this channel, all that's gone. Uh, look, if I hide the parts, all you get, I mean, there's nothing there. So you got to blend these together. Uh, and, and the way to do that is by adjusting your template values here. So let, let me give you an example. Um, I'm going to undo what I just did here. And I'm going to say my goal, undo, undo. My goal is to get what this website says is uh, metallic onto my car. So it's 90 metallic, 40 rough, zero clear coat, right? What this means is it's 90% red. 40% green, 0% blue. Okay, that is what GIMP is telling you. And if you open this up, here's the color. Look, 90% red, 40% green, 0% blue. Okay, but how do you blend this in with the other stuff that's already here? Well, you got to do a little bit of work in your, your, your format here. So here's what you got to do. Start at the top of your spec map, okay? In the default template, when you open it in GIMP, this comes through as pass-through. It shouldn't be. It should be normal. Change that to normal, okay? And then change each one of these folder groups, the red channel, metallic, the green channel, and the blue channel. Change each one of those to addition, okay? So there's addition on that one. There's addition on that one. And there's addition on that one, okay? What you want to do is make this blue channel blue, the green channel green, and the red channel red, and then you're going to add them all together to make a merged image, okay? So... To do that, I'm going to add a layer to the top of each one of these. I'm going to call this one red. Okay. I'm going to call this one green. And I'm going to call this one blue. All right. And then you want to put that color on each one of these. So I'm going to change the red to red. So 100% red, zero green, zero blue, right? Put that right there. Okay. I'm going to go to the green. I'm going to change this to zero red, 100% green. So zero red, 100% green, 100% or zero red, 100% green, 0% blue, right? Paste. Okay. 
I'm going to go to the blue and do the same thing. I'm going to turn off the green, turn on the blue. So you got 100% blue, zero red, zero green, paste. Okay. Now, it's merging all these together right now, which gives you white. <laughs> what you really want to do is just apply the color to the grayscale information below it. Because that's all this channel is. You're putting in grayscale information, and then it's converting to the color. So this red is going to be set to a, to a multiply blend type. Okay. The green is going to be set to a multiply blend type. And the blue is going to be set to a multiply blue type. Multiply, you know what I mean, multiply type. So red multiply, green multiply, blue multiply. And then the channel groups themselves are being added, right? Everything else below that should be normal. And this is what you want to export. This merged image with some red, some green. You see everything's green because it comes with a little bit of green already on there. These bases are black because they're set to zero. So <laughs> that's why, it, but this base is set to whatever color this is. It's not black. It's got a little bit of lightness to it, right? Because there's a little bit of default roughness on the car. So if I export this as a spec layer and I go back to iRacing, that looks normal because that is the default export, right? If I didn't, let's say, let's say this was actually black, right? Let's make this black. Okay, so now these are all three black. Export that. Now the car has this like super shiny, like look at the reflections on it. Almost like a clear coat type thing, but it doesn't look normal. It almost looks waxed. It, that's not right. So if I go back to iRacing, or if I go back to the template, if I can find the right window, there it is. Undo that change. See, it puts a little bit of green on there. Gives it a little bit of roughness. Now the car looks a little bit, especially right here, you kind of see the light. See how it's kind of a little bit of refraction on there? That looks realistic. All right. So let's apply the layers that we said to make this metallic then, okay? And I'm going to show you. I've got a couple things in my template here. Um, I, I just pasted in the, my other paint. So this is the base layer, and then this is everything I don't want to make metallic. So the stickers and some other colors I'm blocking out. So um, I'm going to make a few new layers here. I'm going to make a new layer on top of the base. Okay, and I'm going to call that red base. And this is totally a flavor thing. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I mean, this is the way I do it. Add a new one here called Green Base. And then I'll make a blue down here because I'll show you for demo here in a minute why I'm doing this. Blue Base. Because I don't think the metallic has a clear coat, but we're going to just experiment. So normal, normal, normal. Everything's normal. Okay. So let me turn off my paint and go back to my spec map. Now, this template says metallic is 90% red, 40% green, 0% blue. 90, 40, 0. So what I'm going to do is in my template here, for my red base, I want to make this the grayscale 90% red. Not 90% red, red, red. Okay, That's what this multiply red layer is doing. I just need to make it 90% grayscale. So I'm going to pull this down. I'm going to go to my grayscale here. I'm just going to pull this up to 90. it gives you this kind of almost almost full white but it's not quite full white see that's full white that's 90 percent full white okay i'm going to put that on my red base bam there's my red layer okay if i export that go back to iRacing refresh iRacing why are you not updating did i not export it export iRacing, there it goes, it just didn't update for some reason. Okay, so yeah, you see that's the metallic, but that is not, that is not the same as this. I need that 40% green in there too. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my template. I'm going to go to my green layer. I'm going to make this 40%. You know, it's kind of this darker gray color. Paint. So now it's got the 40% green, it's got the 90% red, which is the same colors that we had, by the way, if you blend these together, remember this color that we copied? That color is that color. 
it's the same one, but you're blending it with all the other stuff that's in your template already. That's the important part. If you dump it all in red, you're going to lose the green because it's going to just filter out the red through this multiply right here. So you got to split it. 90% red, 40% green. Export that. Go back to iRacing. There's the metallic. Now, for this particular paint, I don't want to cut out the stickers and stuff. I don't want to make those metallic too. So I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to grab my sticker layer, which is this one here. Just make that an alpha real quick. And I'm just going to delete the colors. See how I did that? So this is, I went into the red base and I deleted the stickers. Went into the green base, deleted the stickers. So now I have something like this. When I export that, go back to iRacing. Now I got something like this. And you see how it's the metallic bits are actually the bits that are supposed to be like, look at the front. That's not metallic. The bits back here, the, 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 the back of the car, the wing frame. It's only making the parts of the car metallic that I wanted to make metallic. And maybe that's too much metallic. Maybe I don't want to have as much. Maybe it's too dark, right? So I go back to my template. I go to my red layer because that's the one that's making it metallic, right? Remember, that's 90%. Let's take it down to like, I don't know, 70%. Put a 70 in there. I'm going to, uh, well, I've already cut things out of it, right? So it might be easier just for me to delete this and make a new one real quick. I wouldn't have done it in this order to begin with, but it's fine. So there you go, red base. Everything's red. Then I'll go in here and just cut out my, uh, my decals. So now it's not quite as dark, right? Export, go back to iRacing. Now it's got a little bit of metallic on it. Just a little bit. I like that a lot better, actually. Really good. So that's how you blend these layers together. So if you wanted to go out and, you know, you go back to this thing, you're like, all right, well, I don't really want metallic. Let's say I want, oh, what's a good one? Velvet? No, it looks crazy. Pearl. Ooh, I want pearl. I want something with, give me something with blue on it. Has anything got blue? Chrome, satin, matte. Flat loss. Well, so you'd make it 60 20 if you wanted pearl, for example, right? Let's try 60 20, see what that looks like. So let's go back over here. So 60 20, again, I'm going to delete these layers and redo them. I'm going to add a new one. Add a new one. It'll be green base. Probably going OCD with these names here. You probably don't need to do that, but. All right, so 60-20, right? So let's remove the selection. I want 60%. 60. Paint. And then this one's going to be, what was it, 20? Yeah, 60-20, right? So this will be 20. And then, so I got the 20 there. I got the 60 there. Now I'll just come over here and cut out my stickers. Export. Go back to iRacing. So that is... Did it update? Yeah. That's pretty close to what I had on there. That's candy. Or whatever this template says. Uh, pearl, excuse me. So... And if you want to add a clear coat to it, maybe you want to add a clear coat to the stickers. So you can come over here. Wait, okay, I knew I did some. I, <laughs> I cut out the, the wrong layer. Let me undo that, undo, undo. I meant to cut out this layer right here. I meant to turn that off. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. Alpha to selection, delete the base, delete the green, export that. There we go, that's better. Now the stickers are popping. Maybe you want to add a little bit of clear coat to your stickers, right? So, or something else. So I go to the blue channel, right? And I'm going to make the stickers, which are my current alpha right here. Uh, let's make those, um, I don't know. Let's go 5% clear coat, which is, I mean, it's just a little above black, right? Then I'll use my big paintbrush here. Probably easier ways of doing this, but... 
how I do it. So if you look over here, the, the, the layers actually got some color now, right? You see how it's got all the, all that's been painted. Okay. So export that. Now my stickers have a little bit of clear coat to them. See it right through here, which the stickers are also included in this middle piece. And now the wings got it too and all that. I don't know if I really like it on the wing, but, but that's how you do it. You don't need to just paste the color in. You want to do it with these channels and you want to do it with percentages. So hope this helped you in your uh, iRacing painting journeys. See ya.